by Marco Aquino Lima, Reuters, Peru's presidential election race is tightening a month ahead of a runoff vote in June, with socialist Pedro Castillo still ahead, while pollsters say the key battles are in poor, rural regions and in convincing a large group of undecided voters. Frontrunner Castillo, a schoolteacher largely unknown to most Peruvians prior to the April 1 round vote, garnered 43% of voting intentions in the poll, while Keiko Fujimori took 34%, according to pollster Ipsos Peru. Fujimori, in her third candidacy for president of Peru, has closed the gap by two percentage points versus a similar poll by Ipsos two weeks prior. Another recent poll by Datum International also showed a tightening race. Socialist Castillo's support is strongest in the poorest regions of Peru, and ranges between 46% and 60%, the poll showed, while Fujimori polls strongest in the richest, but less populous, areas of the country. Trump continues to push election lie while speaking at Mar-a-Lago 100 million Americans now fully vaccinated ENPR's Steve Inskeep on the 50th anniversary of the public radio institution VP Harris speaks out in support of Newsom as he faces recall election rep. Krishnamurthy on India's terrifying COVID numbers Max Boot. The Republican Party is becoming an increasingly authoritarian party at least three dead. 27 hospitalized after vessel carrying migrants capsizes off San Diego coast actor Justin Baldoni is on a mission to reconstruct masculinity India's daily COVID cases hits new record. PM takes political hit Mehdi Hassan calls out politicians over D.C. statehood hypocrisy Bill Nye on why Americans should get vaccinated fighting gerrymandering. The next big battle over voting rights too dead. Multiple rescued after boat capsizes off California coast Andrew Brown Jr. family attorneys call for independent prosecutor to investigate CASMNBC's Steve Kurnatsky correctly predicts Kentucky Derby winner Tucker Carlson slammed for saying children wearing masks outside warrants police intervention. The great battle will be there. In the poorest socioeconomic sectors, Alfredo Torres, chief executive of Ipsos Peru, said in a television interview. The Ipsos poll of 1,204 people conducted on April 30 with a margin of error of 2.8 percent, indicated that the share of undecided voters had fallen to 23 percent, from 27 percent two weeks prior. That margin still left plenty of room for surprises on June 6, the pollster said. The coronavirus pandemic has ravaged the economy of the world's number two copper producer, pushing up poverty and unemployment and a slow, corruption-plagued vaccination program has left many Peruvians frustrated and angry. Castillo, who normally sports a wide-brimmed hat and has struck a chord with Peru's less affluent voters, wants to rewrite the country's constitution to weaken the business elite and give the state a more dominant role in the economy. Fujimori, a free-market proponent and daughter of ex-president Alberto Fujimori who is in jail for human rights abuses, also has pledged to distribute the country's mineral wealth more evenly to the Peruvian people and to provide vaccines. Reporting by Marco Aquino. Writing by Dave Sherwood. Editing by Bill Burkrat.